Well, this community, as I understand it, has always had a very early immigrant diversity population. My granddad and my dad decided to come to America. You know, when I was born in the 50s, university grew, buildings were added, buildings were renovated. Assembly Hall, the first flying saucer building, was built. I grew up on campus. We would, as young kids, run through the hallways of the Illini Union, <laughs> played hide-and-seek, and we would get chased out by, by security. Uh, and it was just, it was a lot of fun. So, I mean, the quad has not changed. The Illini Union did double in size. Well, college towns are just great communities. The fact that the university here has all the huge advantages of culture, the arts, and it was just convenient to have all these resources available. It's a small community, even though it has all the amenities of a community that's large enough to, particularly arts, you know, when Russian ballet comes through, Chicago Symphony comes through, I mean, you can't imagine, you know, how expensive it is to go get a ticket to see the Chicago Symphony at Symphony Hall on Michigan Avenue in Chicago. I mean, it's $150 and it's $30 to park, and here you just pull in the Cranert and park for free. And so, I mean, you can take advantage of all those special treats. And it's just a wonderful way to expose your family and, and experience life. I finished U of I in 37, and I didn't want to live anyplace else. I wanted to prove that I could find a decent job in Champaign. I could find a job comparable to the education I'd received at the university. The city of Champaign advertised for someone with a degree to be director of the newly formed program at Douglas Center, and I applied and got the job. At that time, Douglas Center was a six-room house in the corner of Douglas Park, and uh, we had programs in the basement and upstairs and on the first floor, too. When I was younger, our streets were muddy, and I've seen that change. I've seen more interest taken in our part of town. I think Champaign-Urbana has come a long way. Nineteen sixty-seven was a time where the civil rights movement was very active, where Vietnam War protests were going on. When John got his PhD and I had graduated, we moved into what was formerly an unoccupied house on the north side of University Avenue and started Empty Tomb. We didn't lock the doors because we were the only European-American people in the community, and John said, well, we have to show trust. And there were people at that time who would not cross the street to come to Empty Tomb because that was the North End. I just see a lot of advantages now to be in a community like this. There's hope here that things can be different, that when you work hard, when you see a need, you can make a difference in it. And that, I think, is a very good um, reality. Um, here, there's more of a reality of problem solving. We can make a difference. The boneyard used to flood down on 4th Street and Green Street, and it's been built into a park-like setting, which is really nice. Westside Park, when it was first built, it was used as grazing for cattle, but that's become really a nice park. We have a picture of Teddy Roosevelt spoke there when he was running for president under the Bull Moose program. The Virginia Theater was built in the 1920s. It's now becoming a headliner in the downtown area. It was run as a theater 
and a development for X. It's been able to put on pretty good shows. Alison Krauss performed there. She's a Champaign resident. Started playing in the park district programs in the park. Well, I've really enjoyed working in the park district. My kids went to school in Champaign, and I've enjoyed staying here and never thought about leaving. I came from a small town down in Knoxville, Tennessee, and when I came to Champaign, there was so much activity here with the University of Illinois and all the other things that were going on. The University of Illinois, we really had three communities here. You had Champaign, you had Urbana, you had the University of Illinois. I think it was just designed for me to be here. A gentleman up here in Champaign by the name of Wardell Jackson owned the Birmingham Black Barons, the Philadelphia Stars, and the Champaign Eagles. So when the season ended, he called and said, will you come up to Champaign? He said, I'll put you up in an apartment, pay all your bills and everything, but I want you to start for me pitching up here the next year. So that's how I got here. The city of Champaign and Urbana uh, did a proclamation to honor the two players that we have here in Champaign, Urbana. That's myself and a gentleman by the name of uh, uh, J.W. Pirtle. People from all walks of life showed up because that's a history that we need to keep alive. Champaign, Urbana had a lot to do with that history. Satchel Page, one of the best known Negro League players, came right here to Champaign, Urbana, and it's a lot of history. Matter of fact, a lot of the teams winded up staying here. The league ended here. Champaign gave me the great opportunity to start my business and support me. I saw beauty in central Illinois, and I wanted to photograph it, and the only way to do that is to do it myself. I like photographing different spots in, in Champaign. For example, uh, University in Prospect. A lot of people come down University Avenue, it's a one-way, and it's just the most beautiful drive, especially in fall. I like the fact that we don't have a brand new downtown where everything is neat and clean. It, it has a historical background. You could look at something and you, I think you could, you could think about the people before us when you see an old building. And so I love that, the texture and the history in downtown. I made a very definite decision that I want to retire here. And the reason I want to retire here is because the mix of the people with the university, with the rural and I think that mix is great. I enjoy growing up in Champaign. My parents took us to a lot of the free concerts in the park. I loved Cranert Center. We went to the Brown Bag Lunch concerts at Cranert and you go run around backstage and and in the different levels of the, where they were building the sets, sit in the audience and watch rehearsals. I loved all that. When I listen to music, you know, it's Illinois that I see in my mind when I'm listening. Champagne offers a tremendous amount to the residents. I don't want it to change. It's a great place to grow up. I hope Cranert's bigger. I hope the cornfields come back and uh, I hope the Jarling's uh, custard cup is still there. I have uh, a very distinct uh, memories and ideas of, of what it's like. Such a great music town to grow up in. I was in Champaign my entire life. I think this is a wonderful community. I had always wanted to settle in a community that fit this mold, that is a small community with, with the amenity of a large university. I can't think of a better combination just in terms of what would you want to have in a community. I would hope that as the years go by that it wouldn't lose that. My 
I like Champaign. Had no reason to move out of here. All my job opportunities have been in this area, so there was nothing to draw me away. I can go back to when uh, Mattis Avenue wasn't even paved. In fact, when I was uh, a late teen, I worked on putting the intersection in at uh, First and Florida, out in uh, our regional shopping center on North Prospect. That used to be farm fields. As a kid, I used to pick strawberries out there, and now it's a major retail operation. This is a city where you have a quality of life, unlike others. We have some stable growth with the hospitals and uh, the university and businesses like Kraft Food and FedEx, and we entice people to come here if they want a quality of life that's enjoyable. It's small enough that it's a friendly place to be. You know, you know most everybody around. You meet a lot of people from all over the community, all walks of life. It's close enough in proximity to, say, Indianapolis, Chicago, St. Louis. If you want to get away for a weekend, it's just a short drive. So I had everything I needed. I moved here with my husband about 55 years ago. There was a lot to do if you had the time and money to do it, and there was a lot to do whether you had any money or not. We found it a very, very fine town. Of course, Craner Center always has interesting things. I enjoy that. I have always liked the Assembly Hall. In fact, we were tailgating in the Assembly Hall parking lot before it was finished being built. And the Virginia Theater used to be where the Junior Leaguers put on our follies. I think Champaign offers a very good lifestyle and most anything you want. We are blessed with so many restaurants here. If anybody ever moves to Champaign and says, oh, I'm so bored, there's nothing to do, they are not trying. All you have to do is open your mouth, open your door, pick up the phone, whatever it is. We are loaded with things to do. It's, it's really a bonanza here.